What's up everyone, Bradley Jack Design here with another design breakdown. This time we're looking at this Kobe White dunk graphic I made a while back. So I've been on a Bulls kick, repping my Bulls. So let me dive in here. I really liked how this graphic came out. I wanted to do a Kobe White graphic um, ever since he came into the league. I found this amazing photo of him dunking, so I went ahead and made a design utilizing that photo. So let me hide everything here in the layers and just dive right in and show you layer by layer what it took to make this design. So started off with just a red background with the bowls red. Um, I went ahead and found a map of the um, subway that they use, the L in um, Chicago. So I went ahead and put that on the background. I then went ahead and threw some text on here. So what I did was trying to think of exactly what I did to do this. So I've got this bulls text here, but then I went ahead and took that text and I displaced it. So I forget what the actual displacement file looks like. It might look like something up here in this paper texture I have. Um, I don't remember, but I went ahead and displaced it just a little bit and you can see that it roughened the edges up a little bit. So it gives it a little bit more dimension. I then took a halftone pattern I have here. This is a halftone pattern I have in my halftone texture set that you guys can purchase. Um, it's on Creative Market if you guys are interested. But I went ahead and took this and then I inverted it and um, set it on top of this bulls text. And the bulls text um, is set to multiply. So it gets rid of any white. So if I set this to normal, you can see this is what it looks like with the halftone on top. But if I set it back to multiply, you can see everything below it. So it's just sort of this sort of screen printed on reverse bulls interesting texture. So I'm gonna ahead and put that on there. Next, I have a, another detail to the background, this court texture. So what this is actually is, and I made this a smart object at some point. That's why this smart object's like super wonky. So I found this um, photo on Unsplash of a basketball court. I went ahead and rotated it. I put a gradient map on top of that to make it white, but I wanted to show a little bit of texture below it and kind of make it look like the um, four Chicago stars were painted on the court. So that's why I went ahead and put a gradient map on there. I had these selected as a, another object and I went ahead and knocked that out from this court. So that's what we have here. So this is the image, I have it set to screen so it's getting rid of any black in the initial image. I then went ahead and turned it black and white and then threw a levels layer on top of that, moved the levels around until I got some texture I liked, some texture in the details here still. And then I went ahead and added a little bit of a halftone texture to it, which you can barely see. So you can see right here, if I turn that on, it's adding a little bit of a halftone to it, which is pretty much just getting rid of some more of it because this is set to multiply. And since this is set to screen, this is basically just knocking out anything that's black from this bottom image. And this halftone is this marble texture that is set that is a halftone as well. And that again, that's part of um, my halftone package that you guys can purchase if you guys want. Um, what do we have on top of this? City texture. Oh, okay, cool. So I took that background image we have of the um, transit map, that's what I'll call it. And I went ahead and masked it to just the areas um, of where this part of the court is. So I've got it in this area and the area up here. And I did this intentionally. So this down here is actually, if we zoom in, is where the United Center is. So I wanted to have that to be apparent and show up because that's where the Chicago Bulls play. So I have that inverted. Otherwise it looks like this. So I have it inverted, it still has color. I went ahead and brightened it up with a levels layer. So you can see I adjusted the right. The light moved it though with the white and I moved it over. Then I have a gradient map to make it black and white. And I added my name in here a couple times, just because. So we got Bradley Jack Design here, and we got Bradley Jack Design up there. 
just because I wanted to add my name in there because it's super fun to put your name in designs and see if anyone notices. Next, we've got some texture, not some texture, some texta. So we have some text. Let me turn this all off and we can take a look, see what it took, layer by layer. So I went ahead and just found sort of the quote um, of when he was drafted. So it says, with the seventh pick in the 2019 NBA draft, the Chicago Bulls select. And there's a big old gap and it says from the University of North Carolina. So I have these um, stroke images. So I have these images of just like markers that are used. So I went ahead and threw one on there, masked it to one I liked, inverted it to make it white, set it to screen so it gets rid of the background. Then I used a levels layer on top of that to make it more white. And then I have some Kobe white text on top of that in black in a uh, sort of black letter font that I wanted to use. So we have text, we've got some background. I then have a little bit of a texture added to Kobe White here. So if you can see, it adds a little bit of texture. And I think actually the texture is off. That's what it should look like. That's weird. So I masked it to just this. I guess I hypothetically could have just masked this whole thing to that. But I think I wanted this levels layer on there. So that's why I did that. I could make this a smart object and clip it to it. but making a layer mask that's clipped to it will do pretty much the same thing. So we've got the text. I have some paper texture. Whoops, let's scroll up here. That goes over the whole thing that darkens everything up a little bit. That's set to multiply. This, this layer is meant to glue the whole background together. And then I have a levels layer on top of that to make it even more prominent of the sort of uh, wheat paste postering of the background. So we've got the background set. Let me turn that off. We'll take a look at that texture later. So now we have the Kobe white image. Let me turn all of this off. So with the Kobe dunking image, I have two different images. So I have this image here, which is the image I used to edit the photo. Uh, I saved it out, threw it in here and duplicated it. So on this first one, I masked out the net and the black up here because I want this layer to show up completely fine, untouched. This bottom layer I have set underneath it so you can only see what's below it. That's why this part's masked out. So the only part we're really gonna see of this bottom layer is where I masked it out. And I'm using the blend if function. So anything that's 42% or 42 on the, the grayscale and darker doesn't show up. So if I move this back over, you can see this is what the original image looks like. But if I put it back up to 42, or I can even go in even further, it doesn't matter. It's getting rid of the net and it's getting rid of the area that you would normally see in the glass up here on the backboard. So that's what I have on here. Um, that's what I do generally for the nets. Now there's probably something over here I can mess around with, but I don't want to deal with it. It's fine. Um, I've got a hue and saturation layer on this one. Um, let's see what I did here. Oh, I changed the reds a little bit. It's probably only it. Yeah. So I just tweaked the reds to be more aligned with the background color. And then the same thing with this one. So you can really see in this actual, this one, this one I changed the yellows. No, I didn't. Okay, cool. So I changed the reds again. Um, to get rid of the yellows in his skin to make it more red, which matches the overall color of the design. So I've got Kobe there. I've got a little bit of a layer mask on there, I think, to fill around with some parts of the hair. Um, but then on top of that, I have a bunch of random layers that, as you can see, are unnamed. So let's take a look and see what these guys do. So I have a levels layer, which you can see is just darkening the outside of the hair. So it's a little too bright, so I darkened it up. And this is just a levels layer set to multiply. On top of that, I went ahead and have a layer set to hue to make the basketball orange again. So there's the basketball being orange. Then I wanted to fix the jersey color. You can see it's got a couple different weird or red tints and blue tints to it. So I went ahead and painted on white to the jersey and set that to color to get rid of any um, color casting on it. Then I went ahead and did the same thing for 
uh, Kobe's skin. I wanted it to be a uniform color. So I basically took off some of that um, hue and saturation that I did before. And then on top of that, we have this other layer, which let's select it, see if I can figure out. Okay, so it's, it's tweaking this tiny little part down here to make this orange and turn it red instead. So that is the editing that I took to um, put this Kobe White image together. Um, and if we jump into real quick the initial image, oh, that's right. I tried to do this before. Apparently, whatever image this is, Photoshop does not like it. Maybe I saved it out as something, but it's gone forever. So that's cool. Anyway, um, I have a just different subtle paper texture on top of everything else to glue everything together. Um, this is just a stock image of paper. Um, you can really see it on the edges probably. If I turn it off, turn it back on. It sort of gives it a little bit of a vignette without using an actual vignette. And then I wanted to put a seal on here. So I found this nice wax image. Here's an image of wax. I went ahead and masked it to just the wax. Because if I open it, you can see it's got this background. It's like on an envelope, but I didn't want that. And I didn't want to set it to multiply because it would get rid of a lot of the details on the inside. So I took that, turned it silver. This is a silver gradient map. So this one, you know, is at 50%. Kind of tints it a little bit, but then this top one is a general gradient map and it makes it um, just look like it's silver. If I turn this one off, you can see this one's basically to brighten it up, brighten the seal up. So then what I did was I took that same seal file and I color overlaid it black. So this is just a black blob, this file here, or this layer. And then I set a motion blur, a Gaussian blur, and a motion blur. Basically what I did was I blurred it at a 45 degree angle, and then I Gaussian blurred that blur to like, I don't know, five or 10. And then I took that blur and blurred it again. So I have this sort of natural shadow um, on this seal. So it looks like it's on top of this piece of paper that this print is on. I then took a layer of this, so this is the seal layer again, and I have a bevel emboss on it, and I have that with a mask of the Chicago seal. So whatever this um, layer mask is, is what is going to show up and be beveled and embossed. So I have that duplicated a couple times to show that someone took like a wax stamp and sealed on top of this wax, that this is part of this from the city of Chicago. Then we've got a couple final overlays. So we've got a, take a look here, 2395, which I use on almost everything, set to 50%. And then a teal orange plus contrast on top, set to 20%, gives a little bit more contrast as well. And then I've just got my logo in the bottom left hand corner. So um, I really enjoyed making this design. You know, it's important to have, uh, yeah, as I've said in other videos, I've got color contrast with black and red and white. Then I've got some size contrast with Kobe White being small and a different font than this other smaller font that you can still read. Then I've got some other effects, you know, a little contrast with the logo down here. And then this big, huge image of Kobe in the foreground that draws your eye in. So the main hierarchy when you see this should be this big Kobe White image. You might jump over here to Kobe's name with a lot of contrast, look at the seal, and then look at all the other little intricate details that are in the design. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any other suggestions for videos you want to see from me in the future or any designs you want me to break down, go ahead and drop a comment below. Um, other than that, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.